I studied the Arctic sea ice cover and what we're seeing is some extremely dramatic changes. Figure this, we expect that the Arctic Ocean, instead of being an ice covered ocean in the summer, will be an open ocean in the summer. Well, this makes it open for all sorts of things, for recovery of oil and gas, for tourism, for shipping lanes. And think about the Arctic Ocean, it's somewhat unique in the fact that it's ringed by a set of countries, eight countries to be exact, and those countries all feel an ownership to the Arctic, and we're going to have to figure out um, how to peacefully coexist. So it has a lot of implications, not just environmentally, as you could imagine, for the animals that live in the Arctic. We're making observations in a way that not only let us see what's going on, but also help us understand what's going on. We actually go out into the field and measure things. We've designed a buoy here at Krell called the Ice Mass Balance Buoy. We place it in the drifting ice cover. This is the, the guts of the buoy. And this buoy measures the changes in the thickness of the ice cover over time. It sends messages, the data home to the laboratory via satellite. And importantly, it also lets us know whether that change is happening at the top or the bottom surface. And that's really important because basically that lets us know whether it's the atmosphere or the ocean that's driving the change. I think it's extremely important that we talk to the kids in schools about the fact that they need to stick with their math and sciences because they're going to be solving these problems. And they're really exciting problems, really engaging problems, and we need, we need them to help. More core news is at usace.army.mil.